It really is one of those stories that sounds like we're making it up to get past this question, but it really did happen in a, in a moment when we met Bobby, um, Bobby Lopez, the night that Trey and I saw Avenue Q. And we were in town meeting about Team America, our puppet movie in 2003 or four. And Scott Rudin told us, you know, there's this puppet thing on Broadway. So we went and saw it that night. Halfway through, after the first act, we were like, wow, this is actually really good. And and Matt doesn't want to leave, that's amazing, you know? So we started really looking through the playbill then, and in the playbill, we saw a special thanks to us. So it was very bizarre, because we're like, wait a minute, what? And we didn't even know these guys at all. Bobby had thanked us by name, because I think he had seen the South Park movie and took it as a big inspiration, so we're like, well, that's weird. After the South Park movie came out, the idea came to me for Avenue Q. I saw that movie, I remember that summer of 99, and I just thought, oh my God, this is, <laughs> this is exactly what I want to be doing. Cut to four years later, I w the show was open on Broadway. Um, barely, we had barely just opened, and I came in one night, and there were Matt and Trey sitting in the audience. Um, they were so that that movie was so inspirational to me, and all of their um, all of their work, all their comedy, and all their their songs had been just had pointed the way for me in my work. By the time the second act was over, I was like, man, this is exactly the thing I've always kind of dreamed about doing. Um, and this is exactly the kind of thing I've always wanted, aspired to do on Broadway. And uh, then it happened that Bobby showed up that night and they told him that we were down there. So he came down and introduced himself. It was crazy because it was like him kind of being um, influenced by us and then us being influenced by back by him. And then we went out that night. I took them across the street to the bar and we, we had uh, we had a long conversation. I remember we just hung out and hung out and hung out. Bobby is about five years younger than Trey and I. So he, he was looking to to us as like elder statesmen or something. I don't know, like, hey, okay, you guys, you've been in the business a long time. What should I do next with my career? And so the pat answer to that is, well, what do you want to do? And he said, I want to do something about Joseph Smith or the Mormons. And we we're like, what? Wait a second. No one likes that shit except for us. When I said Joseph Smith, they were like, we've wanted to do that too. They, they, had, done, they had done a musical called Alfred Packer, um, which was also called Cannibal, the musical, uh, right after or during their college. Um, for their college project, I guess. And they, they thought they would follow it up with the Joseph Smith musical, but they just never did. Um, but the, they had it on their docket to do, um, to do some kind of Joseph Smith musical. And basically I said, you know, if you guys want to do that, that's fine, I'll, I'll let you have it, because I'd love to see what you do more than what I would do. Um, and they said, no, let's do it together. That coincidence of Mormons and a musical, like not just being into Mormons, but specifically thinking about a musical about Joseph Smith or about Mormons, it was in that moment that we almost had to follow up and at least see if there was more there.